Oh, hi. Welcome back to another rant. Today on Excuse Me, we are going to be discussing or ranting or screaming or complaining about people complaining about the idea of remix and reimaginings. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so in today's media, it is not uncommon at all for movies to be remade or reimagined constantly. We just had Ghostbusters in 2016 and now we have a new one coming out. And it's all because fanboys pissed all over the other one because it was women. I'm sorry, and it's not funny. That movie was hilarious. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna come back around to Ghostbusters because I got a minute to say about that. But in general, I want to talk about the idea of reimaginings and remakes. And the most common comment I see on posts about them is this is going to ruin my childhood or this did ruin my childhood or anything along that line. First of all, let's get really clear. The existence of a reimagining or a remake does not dilute your memories or taint your memories of the original. If it does, there is something seriously wrong with you and you need to get checked out because how does the existence of one thing negate the existence of the original. It doesn't. If you love the original Ghostbusters, by all means, continue loving the original Ghostbusters. The new one isn't for you. Remakes are not for you. It's for a whole new generation. Like Ben 10, whatever, has its current remake on. And there are plenty of people my age even who are like, oh no, the Ben 10 sucks. It ruined my childhood. First of all, the original Ben 10, we were like, it was like, oh god, I don't even know how many years ago, but I was definitely an adult already. And it's totally fine to love kids shows, don't get me wrong. There are plenty of kids shows I love. I love The Adventures of Gumball. It's great. But like, the existence of this new Ben 10 doesn't take away from the original. It doesn't. It, 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 that's not how this works. It's not how any of this works. The new Ben 10 is for kids who are kids right now. Teen Titans Go! Not for fans of the original Teen Titans. It's not designed for you, it's not written for you, there are references thrown in there for you because you probably have kids now who are watching it, but it doesn't take away from the originality of the, like, of, of the first Teen Titans. It doesn't. And then horror movies coming out or being remade or reimagined, like the Rob Zombie Halloween. The first one was beautiful. It was a great film shot wonderfully. The second one got a little bit wonky in the end, especially with that additional ending that's available. We're not going to discuss that right now. That's for a whole other video. But those reimaginings don't take away from the original series. And speaking of the original series, I love the new one that came out. It was so good, especially when they were like, nothing happened after the original. Because the third one doesn't even count as a Halloween movie. That just... That was like an acid trip of a film. Like, there are rumors of Harry Potter being remade, and am I going to be mad at that? Mm, not necessarily, but I'm not necessarily excited for it either, because those movies are nowhere near old enough to have a remake. Movies I would like to see a remake of are Aragon. Let's give a good Aragon series. Can we? Let's put it on HBO. Let's have a full TV show, because that series is long. Each book is a weapon. You could whack somebody in the face with it. But... That's a movie that deserves a remake. Harry Potter doesn't necessarily deserve one. And like I said, if they did decide to remake Harry Potter, I wouldn't necessarily be detracted from my love of the original films. It wouldn't subtract from that. It just doesn't balance out that way. It doesn't. You have to realize that remakes are not for fans of the original necessarily. It's to draw in a whole new audience. A reimagining is a little different. Uh, with the new Child's Play, I don't know exactly how they're going to work it because I read a long time ago the original writers wanted to reimagine it and Chucky was going to be a manifest... manifest <laughs> like with the new Child's Play, it's a... I believe this one's a reimagining. I had read a while ago that the original writers wanted to recreate it and that Chucky was a manifestation of the kid's id rather than being Charles Lee Ray all zombified inside of a doll. Which, to me, is personally a little bit more horrifying because that means the kid is so evil and so crazy that his id needs its own whole body. 
that's scary. Would the remake of Child's Play, if they went that way, take away or subtract my love of the originals? No, the originals were that perfect blend of comedy and horror. Because the ch character of Chucky is just great. First of all, it's a psychopathic little, like, doll. We all had dolls like that when we were kids, or, you know, whatever, buddies. Straight culture. We all had dolls like that when we were kids, whether it be like a Teddy Ruxpin or something like that, something that could easily come alive and kill us all. Wouldn't be that hard. It's a stuffed thing. It could just hide. And along that same train of thought is Americanization or Westernizations of Asian cinema. But that is a whole nother topic that we need to discuss because that one's long in and of itself. But it's a reimagining, basically, is what it boils down to. And I will explain later on in another video. But I really hate seeing people say, this is going to ruin my childhood or blah, 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 anything along those lines, because like, no, 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 no. Are your memories that weak that something for a new generation is going to ruin them? I'm sorry. No. Like, no. Just no. No. No! Let things exist. Give it a shot. Like, I always see also people are always like, oh, I'm not even gonna bother seeing this because blah blah blah, it's not gonna be as good as the original or something like that. Like, give it a shot. You don't know if it's gonna suck. Like, hello? Hello? And I will admit, I have sometimes said like, oh, I don't know if I want to see that. And then I see it and it's good. Does it subtract? or add to my love of the original, it adds. It adds to my love of the franchise. I don't understand why this is such a hard concept for people to wrap their tiny little brains around. Give things the chance. They might impress you. You might be happy. You could be happier. Why don't we do that? Let's give that a shot instead of being so negative all the goddamn time. Give it a chance. Let it wash over you. If you don't like it, forget it. If you do like it, it only adds something new to the franchise or to the story or to your love of the franchise. It's a win-win situation. You either get to continue your love of the franchise or you get to add more to it. It's not that complicated, really. And on that note, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up because I could just rant all day long about fanboys, fangirls, in general, and this specific topic, because it just it, it happens all the time, especially with Hollywood, running out of ideas. So that's another video. Let's be original. But I will come back to that later. Anyway, if you guys enjoy the makeup look I'm wearing, I will have a link to the video accompanying that below. And I will see you guys again when I'm again further irritated. Bye. I hate having an itch when you're wearing makeup. Uncomfortable. Well, this has been remade recently.